What's going on guys? El Tiburón, aka Retro Tiburón, with another pickups video. Movies, video games, VHS, garbage, Blu-rays, 4K Blu-rays, and also a 100 subscriber giveaway. So you want to watch till the end, or I guess you can just skip to the end, right? But uh, first we're going to start with... Um, with the pickups and then we're going to talk about the 100 subscriber giveaway i'm gonna do so i'm gonna rapid fire through some of these because i've already talked about these on on tyler tyler stevenson my buddy tyler stevenson's channel snapdragon i actually uh just watched this the other night it's a really sleazy really sleazy early pamela anderson movie it's kind of like um, like a like a who done it, like a mystery, like a sleazy mystery, and wasn't very good. But it's got a young, young Pamela Anderson showing off a couple of her talents. You know what I mean? Did somebody say sassy? But not a keeper. Uh, this one I picked up also with my buddy, with my buddy Ty Lord and Omega. VHS A and E uh, documentary on pro wrestling. It's one of those kind of like behind the scenes uh, documentaries. Still haven't watched it, but I think I probably saw it back in the '90s. You know, there were so many documentaries on like the behind the scenes stuff on wrestling that I'm sure I saw it. I just don't remember it. Mega matches with the Macho King. I found this over uh, when I was hanging out with uh, my buddy Tyler and Omega. Awesome find. I think I got it for what says right here, seven bucks. That's a steal. These uh, some of these Coliseum WWF tapes can be a, a little bit pricey. Uh, let me see what else do I have. Let me go to my Blu-rays. Hatchet three and Hatchet two. Hatchet two and three. I uh, I've only seen the first one and I really really liked it. Um, and these were actually a gift from Tyler, so thanks again to my buddy Tyler. Uh, so I've been wanting to watch the other ones. I, I don't know if there's a Hatchet 4 or 5, but definitely looking forward to checking these out. They have the, the first one that I saw had awesome, like, uh, practical effects, which is kind of rare in horror, I feel, nowadays. The Fun House right here. Love this movie. It's a Toby Hooper movie. I tell my buddy Tyler, it's kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but in a carnival. Good fun. The fun house. No pun intended there. Um, let's see what else I have. Wakanda Forever on 4K. I think I found this at the at the, my local swap meet flea market for like two bucks. I, I really like it. I know it's gotten some mixed reviews, but I really like Wakanda Forever. I, I like the, the Namor character. Next up, Chillerama. Probably the weirdest anthology movie I've ever seen. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, the first story is about this killer sperm. There's a story about like this... I think it's like, he's like a Jewish Frankenstein <laughs> monster. And then there's this uh, story about these two uh, heterosexual werewolves that fall in love. It's it's a must watch. I, I wouldn't say it's a great movie, but it, it's one of those that I think it's so bad. It's kind of good. Uh, let me see. I got this one, too, with my buddy Tyler at uh, Rasputin's Truth or Dare. I don't know. It seems kind of interesting, the, the story. I'm down to check it out. I'm sure it's not going to be really that great, but, you know. Worth a watch. Tales from the Hood 2. I love the original Tales from the Hood. This one, I'm guessing, didn't make it to theaters, but 
I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a good, good, uh, good spooky fun. I also got this at my local pawn shop. The three movie Blu-ray set of the OG Spider-Man movies. So it's got Spider-Man, Spider-Man Two, Spider-Man Three from the early two thousands. Uh, you know, Part Three is pretty garbage. That's the one with the emo Spider-Man. But Part One and Two are really cool. I think I would have a hard time choosing, like, I, I really like some of the new Spider-Man movies, but I, I don't know. I love these the first two of this set, too. So, you know, it's kind of like picking your, your favorite child. I don't have any kids, but I would imagine that's what it's like. Another Blu-ray. I got this from MVD. It's uh, kind of the story of Tom Savini smoke and mirrors the story of tom savini that for those of you that are horror buffs i'm sure you know who tom savini is he did he did a lot of the practical uh effects in a lot of movies like the original friday the 13th friday the 13th part four i believe he worked on texas chainsaw massacre 2 i may be wrong but i think he did he, he did practical effects for dawn of the dead as well uh, but big Tom Savini fan. I got it because it reminded me of this VHS tape. I remember in the 90s, there was this VHS tape that kind of looked like this. And it was about Tom Savini. I think it was called like the Master Master of Horror or something. And I remember that tape scared me because it was like Tom Savini surrounded by like all his creations. So you would have like the young boy, Jason, which always I always thought that was scarier than the actual... Hockey mask, Jason Voorhees. Yeah, I think it had this dude. I think this dude's from... Uh, what's the name of those damn movies? Creep Show, I think, right? That monster that's in the box. Uh, yeah, that's also, I think, the from Creep Show. That monster dude. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Only issue is... It's cracked. I don't know if you can see it, but it's cracked. So I might have to email mvd i just barely opened it today so see if they'll give me a replacement because look at that you can even hear the plastic that's not unacceptable all right next one oh well, let me show off this vhs tape first this one i got off instagram liquid television i actually saw it this week too i don't know if if anyone out there's familiar with liquid television but it was a a show that ran in the early 90s of mtv where they just showed like a bunch of like really weird really random cartoons uh i remember there was a cartoon where this guy with a giant head and um yeah just like really bizarre cartoons and they were only about like a minute or two long episodes. And they would kind of like show one episode for a minute or two, go to the next episode, and then go to the next cartoon. But for what I remember I loving this about this one is not only the intro, I love the intro theme, but also Ian Flux. I used to love those Ian Flux cartoons. I thought they were so bizarre, so um, kind of like sensual, like... I was probably about eight or nine when when Liquid Television was on TV, so I probably shouldn't have been watching uh, Liquid Television because some of those uh, Ian Flux episodes, uh, when I saw this VHS tape, there's like a scene where Ian Flux is French kissing this guy on a train. They're like on separate trains and they're like French kissing each other each other through the window. There's another scene where someone sucking on one of the guy's nipples like some girl it's like really bizarre but really cool really gory a lot of action really fun but i i it was like 30 minutes i don't think i'm gonna keep this one because it doesn't have a whole lot and i actually have the ian flux like uh, i think it's a dvd set or the blu-ray set with all the cartoons so i kind of really don't have a use for this the last Blu-ray. This one's actually a 4K Blu-ray. My favorite horror movie of all time. My favorite horror movie franchise for sure is Friday the 13th. But my favorite horror movie of all time is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Love it. And this is a 
4K, 4K uh, re restoration of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Who made this again? Dark. I, I can't really read. I think it's Dark Sky Films. But uh, yeah, really cool. Um, I saw it this week, this uh, restoration uh, DVD. And, you know, I couldn't, I mean, it looked good, but it didn't feel like 4K. But then again, I don't know if I would want a crispy, really minty, like a very clean version, looking version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Part of the charm of this movie is just how gritty it is. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just had to get it. It's my favorite horror movie. I had to get the 4K for it. Uh, I actually have a couple of video games. Let me show off a couple of these video games. I got Magic. What is this called? Slam. Slam and Jam. Slam and Jam, Magic, and Kareem. Got this at uh, my local um, swap meet. And I didn't even know this game was a thing. Uh, I'm a big fan of NBA basketball. I'm also a big Laker fan. So when I saw this, I was like, I got to have this game. I think I got it for like seven bucks or something. But I'm sure it's garbage. I mean, you can see the graphics on the back. This is a, you know, PS1 early polygon graphics. I'm sure it's not great, but it's got Magic and Kareem on it. It's basketball. Gotta have it. Next one. Resident Evil 5. My buddy Tyler again uh, gifted gifted this to me, so thanks again, Tyler. I want to play this on stream, so hopefully Tyler and I can set up a time to start playing this one on stream. I think it's um, you know I'm not a big fan of of not being able to walk and shoot at the same time, which this game has. But I think I really like this game because of the co-op element. It's like a fun co-op game, so. I don't mind the not being able to shoot and walk at the same time when I'm playing this one because it's, you know, you're, you're having fun with your friend. Um, so don't mind it. Next one. Last last pickup. Puyo Puyo with Tetris 2. Got this at my swap meet for five bucks. I didn't pay $40 or I would never pay $40 for this game, but for five bucks, it's still sealed. I was like, eh, why not? I don't know if I'll ever play it, um, but if I don't, I'll just probably end up giving it to somebody. I, I couldn't really pass it up for five bucks, brand new sealed. Um, yeah, but that's it for my pickups. Now to my giveaway. So um, I recently hit 100 subscribers. I think right now I'm at about, give or take, like 113, 112. Um, so I want to do a little giveaway as a way to show a little bit of gratitude to anybody that's ever watched one of my pickup videos, one of my unboxings, hung out in one of my live streams. Uh, yeah, just show a little gratitude. Um, first of all, I want to give thanks to people like Ty Lord Stevenson over at the Ty Lord Stevenson channel. Uh, the PWM Physical Media Mac over at DVDs, Nuts and Popcorn. And last but not least, Omega Ace, Omega Ace Gaming. Because uh, those are, I feel like those guys got me a lot of these subs because they gave me like shout outs and, uh, on their channel. So big shout out to them and shout out to anybody that's ever watched one of my videos, dropped the like, hung out in the live stream. Um, yeah, shout out to everybody. So uh, what I want to do is, is um, you know, I'm not a big baller, but I wanted to give away a $25 gift card, Best Buy gift card, um, to one of the viewers, to one of my viewers. It could be anybody. You don't have to, you know, you could be my friend, anybody, my friend Billy, Francisco, anybody that that wants this can have it at random. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to need you guys to do is drop a comment on this video. So... I want I need you to put the number 100 so not the emoji you know the hundred percent emoji like actually put one zero zero a hundred in the comments and then a week from now let's say 
next Friday. Hold on, let me check my schedule really quick. I might have to edit this out because I don't want to. I don't want to give a date that I'm not available. Yes, next Friday, which is April 14th. So I'm giving you guys a whole week. Next Friday, I'm gonna do a live where I do the random selection for the $25 gift card. If you're not in the United States, I'm not going to send you this because I don't want to pay like $100 to ship this out. But um, we'll make another accommodation. Like maybe I'll PayPal you 25 bucks or something like that. Um, but either way, even if you're international, you can join the contest. And, you know, I'll figure out a way to give you 25 bucks one way or another. Um, so, yeah, just drop 100 one zero zero in the comments a week from now next friday uh april 14th i'm going to create a live so that i do the drawing live on air so you don't think i'm doing any any uh sh any, any like tricks or trying to pick somebody you know trying to specifically pick somebody i'm gonna do it at random um so you have until april 14th at 8 p.m pacific time to put the common in there and yeah good luck to everybody but you know just thanks again to anybody everybody that's watched the video dropped a like left a comment shared the video hung out in the live stream but um yeah that's it for now i just wanted to uh, make sure i did a quick video um because uh, i saw that I, I, I wanted to wait till i got a little bit over 100 because i was like what if i get to 100 and then i create this video and then i'm like back to 95 <laughs> So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Take care.